support and encouragement they've given us throughout the past three years. Thank you to the amazing teachers and staff that have granted us their time and energy. And to Principal Sate Warner, Principal Vice, uh, Vice Principal Lucio, and Superintendent Scuderi, thank you for steering this school and district through a turbulent time. We cannot be more grateful for all you've done. Oh, geez, I'm not really <laughs> Um, today we are here to celebrate our completion of middle school through the notoriously most difficult years of any kid's life. It's a time when we learn about ourselves and our lives, but it's for us it was in the middle of a global pandemic, two of the most difficult years of everyone's lives. Um, so let's rewind and go all the way back to 2019 when we started sixth grade and were overwhelmed by the giant campus we now know like the back of our hands. We found our lockers, spent 20 minutes trying to open the lock, then spent another 20 minutes trying to find our first class, and then spent the first two weeks worrying about running day. We figured those might be some of the biggest challenges of the year, but we were sadly mistaken, because then came Friday the 13th of March 2020, when COVID hit. At first it was exciting, thinking we had a couple extra weeks of spring break, but of course that was before we started to realize just how long we'd be stuck at home, for all of sixth grade, and then seventh. We learned to adapt. We sat at home, listening to our teachers from their little Zoom boxes as we sat in front of our Chromebooks trying to ignore the background noise of doorbells, excited pets, and our parents' loud voices on conference calls. Um, our internet would crash in the middle of our teacher's sentence, and our mics would give up on us. At least, that's what we claimed. We would try to do PE while avoiding the furniture and sat in breakout rooms using nothing but the chat. And we tried to find ways to connect with friends while spending too much time with our families. We learned creativity and resilience. By eighth grade, we were back here on campus and saw the friends we had made two years before. We found our new classes and we spent 20 minutes trying to relearn how to open our lockers. We learned the deeper meaning behind IBD stories, the joy of musical chairs at lunch and the infamous Larkies. And we realized that while we may have missed out on a year of these experiences on campus, we hadn't missed out on the purpose of middle school to figure out who we wanna be, what we wanna do and how we wanna get there. We learned to persevere through hard times, discover new ways to live, and find happiness in the small things. COVID taught us to be flexible, creative, and resilient. Now, as we leave Lincoln behind and all of the joy and stress that came with it, we get to discover new things, make new opportunities, and find new people to share the next chapter of our lives with. We went through one of the hardest parts of our lives, while the world, with us in it, went through one of the hardest things in modern history. High school is nothing compared to that. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you. Yeah!